Hey, there's a new book out just today that may be just what you need if you're having a day. The thing is, the book is recommended for preschoolers, but if you've ever felt like just saying, I quit, then it may hit home for the grown-ups too. There's the book, I quit, and we're happy to have the author of the book now on Zoom. Welcome to the Morning Mix, Kristen Tracy, how are you? I'm great. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. It's a thrill to see you. you and now, before we start anything, let's talk about your connection to West Michigan. All right. There's a, there's a Kalamazoo connection here. It is, it, and it is the cat. Um, I went to Western Michigan University for graduate school, and while there, I adopted my cat, Bunny. And the book is about Bunny and the day I believe Bunny quit. You, <laughs> I love it that you think your cat just quit. <laughs> I love it. I do. Bunny, who is the cat adopted out of Kalamazoo, is now a, a national global star. <laughs> who hasn't had that feeling of, uh, of uh, just wanting to throw on the towel? Tell us Kitty's story. So Bunny was adopted in Kalamazoo and immediately loved being in my house. Took to being a house cat right away. But I had rules. I had rules such as no scratching the window screens. Eventually I had a child. No chasing the baby was an important rule. My cat did not enjoy those rules. And one day my cat ran away, which I took it as a form of quitting. And so the story is about told from the cat's point of view, why the cat quit, where the cat went and what happens to the cat. Okay. Obviously, obviously a cat person, Kristen. How in the world are you writing from a cat's perspective? You know, I once, uh, my professor at Western Michigan University, Stuart Dybeck, once told me, you're a very empathetic person. And I think people who have empathy can really write from other points of view. Most time it's another character, but for me, I'm really able to inhabit animals, I think. Well, so really you're telling your story through the animals. I think so, and I think kids really connect to that. And so ultimately, it's a story about perseverance and following rules and getting along and becoming a part of a family. And so that's a story kids can connect to. Absolutely, and uh, something else they connect to, the illustrations. I mean, we, I, I love give, giving illustrators a shout out. Oh, Federico Fabiani, he lives in Italy. I've never met him but he loves cats. He has cats, multiple cats, and he thinks like a cat. And I saw his illustrations, and I actually reached out to him before we um, partnered with the, with the publisher and asked if he would read the story and if he connected to it, and he loved it. And so that's how we sold the story is, is really cat first. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Beautiful illustrations and a great story from a person who obviously, obviously knows cats. And wait, didn't I hear, I read that you had a car trained cat. Have you car trained your cat? What does that mean? So when I lived in Kalamazoo, eventually I, I, I moved to San Francisco and I had to car train the cat because I wanted to take him in the car to San Francisco. And so I looked online how to do it and they were like, go and just sit with the cat in the car. Because the idea was, is cats associate getting in the car with going to the vet. And so you had to psychologically break that association. So for two months I went and I would sit with my cat in the car. Sometimes we'd turn the car on, sometimes I'd put it in reverse, sometimes I'd go around the block. And so by the time it was time to go to San Francisco, my cat was car trained. But the one thing I did wrong is I let him sit on my lap during the training. And so on the drive to San Francisco, <laughs> That's where he wanted to sit. Well, he always had a warm lap anyway, all the way to <laughs> San Francisco. <laughs> I love this. So if you're a cat person, obviously a book for you. But really, this book is for anybody who's just had a day and might need to realize that things aren't as bad as they may think. I Quit by Kristen Tracy is in bookstores right now. You want to learn more about her, about all the other books that she's written for young adults and for kids, for everyone, really, KristenTracy.com, the place to go. Kristen, we thank you so much for the time this morning. Thank you so much for having me. I love Michigan. I'm oh, coming back. Thanks. Can't <laughs> wait to see you. <laughs> we'll be right back.